we just arrived at the Icon CEM port. And this, I'll be flipping the camera and show you what is here. Guys, welcome to Icon CM. AO, check it out. Very nice. And just like what we saw from yesterday at the CM Paragon, they also have uh, other some activities. I don't know what it is, but seems so festive also around this area right here and if you look at the opposite side that is the port where we just uh, arrived from okay I guess we'll uh, enter the building through here We'll see what's in store for us. Let's go. Guess what this event is. It's a durian buffet. That's so cool. Ah, okay, so that's like the black ones are durian. So let's check out the price. Guys, if you're a fan of durian, uh, the price is 645 for children and uh, Regular price. How much regular price? Uh, one, uh, one thousand two hundred. One thousand. One thousand. Ah, okay. Here's the price, guys. It's durian buffet at one thousand two hundred ninety baht. Okay. So if you're, if you guys are a fan of durian, this place is for you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. We are now entering Suk Siam. And check it out, guys. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some refreshments here. Check it out. Okay. So many things here. Like there's this outlets. So it's not only just food, but also trinkets, bracelets, and stuff. So many things for you guys here. There's clothes. Again guys, it is crazy out here. So many food, so many choices. Just like yesterday, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tough picking out what to eat. Bangkok, Thailand, man, this is crazy. Guys, we decided to have a fruit smoothie here. Fruit smoothie is at 80 baht. Guys, I got me my mango smoothie right here. Let's try it. Now guys, I noticed that there are other shops right here selling the same items like uh, smoothie. And uh, the prices vary. So you can, if you go around and you're still not that hungry, you can uh, choose for the best price. Let's try this one. Guys, the mangoes here in Thailand are so sweet, so good. I mean, Cebu mango is also good, but theirs are also pretty good. This is the wife's uh, order of coconut smoothie. Let's try it. That's also good, it's really refreshing. Love it. As we are now at this area because the wife has had a little bit much of Thai food and here they have like uh, halal food 
with rice. So we're trying to find some food items here. What's happening right now is the wife is looking for something to eat. And now she's back. I thought she was going to choose the food for us. But she's having so much trouble looking for the food she might want. And I guess, okay, uh, I think she's buying some of the food that she likes or thinks that she likes. And the good thing about me is I'm not very picky. So whatever's going to be arriving here, I'll still eat it. And here's one. What is this? Uh, chicken, tandoori, and beef. Beef, balls, and chicken. Ah, okay, so guys, what we have here now is our first dish of chicken, tandoori, and beef balls with the rice. Check it out. So here you go. That's rice. Uh, for some reason, it's got different colors but mostly orange, the beef balls, and the chicken tandoori. Okay guys, let's try this one. Let's try a bit of the chicken. It's curry-ish, light flavor. I like it. With the rice. It's a different kind of technique. It's kind of slightly mushy, mushy side, the rice is, unlike the Philippine rice. Still okay. Let's try the beef balls. Oh, it's hot. Still <clears throat> smoking it. Mm. Orange inside. It's got a light flavor. I also like it. Mm. The sauce, uh, tomatoey, light flavor. It's good. Mm. Here is the other order, which is the green chicken curry. It looks good. Still hot. Ooh. Let's try it. So guys, this is at 80 baht. Let's try some of the chicken first. <clears throat> There's a little bit of spice. Tinge of, tinge of sweetness. And with mix of curry. It's good. Mm. This rice tastes familiar. Tastes like local rice, local Philippine rice. Mm. Mm. So, so good. Mm. That slice of cucumber adds some freshness to the palate. I was alone at this table for a good 10 minutes or so because the wife went out and disappeared to look for food and now she's back with these according to the wife this is a banana roti crepe oh my gulai I mean oh my omg that looks chocolatey and she also got with her the this now, what is this? Tell me. It's iced coffee. Thai iced coffee by uh, Roti and Tea. So I believe this is on the same shop, right? Yeah. So she got it from Roti and Tea. How much does one cost? This one is 70 and this is 50. This is 70 baht and this is 50. 50 baht, the iced coffee, iced Thai coffee. Okay, let's try this one first. The crepe is a bit... Uh, the crepe is soft. And... Okay. 
They use two forks to separate one por portion. Let's try it. Mm. Light, um, light soft crepe. The bananas are soft as well and sweet and mixed with uh, Nutella. Really good dessert. Mm. And one more. Mm. Crepe lovers out there, I'm sure you'll love this. Wait guys, everybody's stopping, you hear that sound? I'm not sure what it is. So um, they're standing up. I don't know what that what was, but I don't know that was a national anthem or something. So some people just stopped by, I think the locals stopped. So I just also stopped and stood up with them. Now let's try the Thai iced coffee. <laughs> I'll mix it a bit and try it. Because it's been a, such a long hot day. The cold, it, 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 every, almost everything is refreshing right now, but so far it's light. It's not, it doesn't have that um, strong coffee oomph, but it, it's light, it's light. And if you're fond of light flavored iced coffee, you'll dig this, but I like what I had earlier, the mocha frappe back at, uh, near the Grand Palace. We had a great dinner here at Suk Siam and now the plan is to go back to the port and try to get across and we will backtrack our way to Siam Paragon. So we'll try to see if we could still catch the boat but if not we'll stay here longer. vibe has changed uh, earlier it was uh, with the lights on now it's more vibrant let's see if we can still catch the boat guys while waiting here for our boat there's a uh... rest in peace rest in fish So guys, that's the Vela Cruise. According to the wife, she already made some uh, research about it. That is where you can have a dinner on board while cruising along uh, this river. So just beside Icon Siam, or you can see local uh, fishermen. Our boat is here.
we just came back here at Sator Port and on our way back to the BTS so that we can head back to Sayam, Paragon. We've made the most out of our all-day trip pass of the hop-on hop-off boat ride. So again, a big shout out to friends from Thailand for the tip. It was really more than worth it, guys. So if you're traveling here to Thailand and you want to try uh, the boat ride, I suggest you take the all-day trip pass just like what we did. It's another tip from here. So you have to look out for the, you have to read the signs because there's the Silum, the Silum uh, platform and there's also the national platform that will lead us to Sayam Paragon. So just keep your eyes open. We just made it back to here at Payatai Station and uh, I guess we're gonna call it a night because uh, after reaching Siam Paragon earlier or Siam Station, uh, the wife was a bit tired from all the walking and uh, tour that we did today. So yeah, we're heading back and walking back to our hotel. We guys still here at Payatai Station. Uh, by this, uh, this is the this is the Cha Payum before the exit to Payatai. So we're having this. We're having honey lemon Italian soda, only forty baht. Let's try the. Honey Lemon by Cha Payum. Refreshing, lemony, honey, yummy goodness. It's a light flavor and refreshing, I like it. So we are now back at our hotel room. So we decided from Payatai, yeah. Um, that we will go back to our hotel room to call it a day because after you saw from the video it was a really long day for us really no I'll take that back really long hot day for us today so uh, upon reaching here uh, the sigh of relief with a cool room and you know you just you have the big bed and you can finally relax and call it a day so guys if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and click the like button share this video out there leave a comment and please consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to click not the notification bell to get updates whenever i post new videos and guys it really helps a lot if you do subscribe and remember life is not a straight line but a zigzag. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but always keep moving forward.